knowing he's a good character and gonna go for the good character on Big as well too. He started Towning City. Now K9 gonna have to get a cool reset here too if he wants to end up winning this one. So two sets off, let's just see how he plays against the villager. Ooh, gets a grab and the forward error. Not gonna be able to extend it because K9 managed it right in time. I feel, I feel like swords are normally like a rough matchup for villager, but from what I know. Um, He's a bit of a floaty, easy to juggle, and a lot of his uh, projectiles, they can get hit through a sword with that disjointed move, so. I feel like the one thing that he does have is his turnips. You know, they can help him land a little bit, but yes. you know what, uh, against K9, who's going in so deep, and I love what Cole gets I love what Ant right did right there. He went super low in order to avoid getting fair to bear by K9. K9 goes for the American there, but instead, that's a little getting hit by a tree. Oh, goes for the axe, reading the jump too and everything. Trying to bait up shield option and does it, gets it. Ends up watching him drop his shield and then the back here. Good job on K9, up 3-2. I mean, you just saw how like, he's like, oh, I'm so slow, I'm so slow. And then whoosh, just came in and swinging with such blinding speed with that back here. You see that fast character. No, 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 no. I feel like it's not her, her speed, it's her acceleration. She can go from like slow to quick really quickly. Exactly. Especially with the, the length on that disjoint. Definitely a threat for this villager right now, but that's a pity him with a forward tilt through the gyro. Get some of the up these two. 92% on hand. He's gonna go for the ledge guard or edge guard. Does not find it. Ooh, gets the bear and the attack on that one. Yeah. You know, this is a, just a really rough matchup for him. What I'm seeing right now. K9 though, getting the dancing blade every time. It's just nothing but frame traps you're seeing with this character right now. Finally manages to open up something on him, but you know what? It's not enough. And K9 just resumes his combo session. Exactly. Cena with the down tilt. Hits him with the Nair as well, too. Trying to look for a uh, tech chase situation, but... Yeah, you can see those are not wanting to throw out side Bs just because it takes a little bit of time for them to come out, and they don't have an actual hitbox until they start moving. Exactly. Oh, I expected... Ooh, I think... I think at first what he was going for was either a... Um, center down air, or a... He was looking for a fair bear. Yeah, he was I, I thought he was trying to jump on his head for a second, too, or a footstool, yeah. but... Ends up finding the up B instead, yep. hitting him into the stage too, missing that tech for Ant. But Cannon up 1-0. Yeah, and you're set, Ant's gonna take him back to Battlefield. Stop if you're Ant, you gotta think like I, I was talking to Ant about this earlier, like, oh, who would you go? And he said that he feels like he would get the most out of this matchup, just going all villager. All villager, cool. Yeah. So his secondary is also uh, Isabel, correct, right? Uh I mean, yeah. I've seen him play Isabel. He has he has an Isabel, he has a banjo, he has a hero. Oh, he has all those. Okay, yeah. So Villager definitely the heart play for him. But now you gotta think, uh, you're here against this huge sword. It's either he figures out the match right now or now or never, right? Cool little combo going on. Some of the double nair into the down air, but now we're here on the ledge against the Lucina. Not fun. Hits him with the down air too, but doesn't get the sweet spot, luckily. I feel like if you're playing Villager, you just gotta hope that your wall of pellets can keep the Lucina out long enough to find a kill. Exactly, hits him with a down hit to the back air. Not enough damage, but doesn't take the stock, kind of just floating around in the same spot. Catches the tank with the dash attack. There's the tree. Not up yet, though. Situation keeping him off that other side of the stage, too. Ooh, that was a good little read, too, but ends up dropping the jab. Did not believe in himself. Yes, did not believe. Did he want to get on the... No, he didn't. Ooh, yo! The fancy feet from my boy Ant. Ends up getting hit, though. 108 on K9. He was definitely moving around there in this, <laughs> like in the left, in that left jump story. That was pretty tight. He's going for the little mix-ups. But now, last a couple up airs on... On Ant. It's a good spot. Ant is struggling to find his kill. We've seen his at 140, not finding anything. But meanwhile, we've seen it just needs to get Ant off stage once, and then yeah. it's just a solid edge. Yeah, and then it's a cool assault with the, with the sword at that point. Everyone's 
Trap cannot find it though. Goes for the forge tilt. That one. Ooh, that back throw. Really, really throwing him out there. Really chucking him. Gone. Dude. Mr. Mayor collecting on his citizen's debt right there. <laughs> so where did he go? <laughs> He's like, there's a weed back there. I need to go that way. <laughs> Get him gets him without weed. From the bottom, hitting him with the slingshot, goes for the can or the bowling ball, does not get it. Gets the air for the coverage, and man, man. Hey, I'll tell you something right now. I cannot play villager like that. Before. Ooh, gets him with the death I don't believe most people can play villager at the level that Ant does. Exactly. If he just knows where you're gonna be and like he knows how the how the to work. And he saw him trying to catch the landing with the grab, but you know what? It's just way too slow. Exactly. Catches the double jump, gets the forward smash, not gonna find it. Oh my oh, god, doesn't go for it again. Grab him. You know what, his grab would have been too slow. I'm surprised oh, he didn't. Yeah. And you know what, that's very uncharacteristic. He can actually, you know, go for that up the above ledge. Because that could have easily been punished if he had been prepared for it. He looks Ooh. like he's going for the footstool almost when he goes all the way down there too. But you know, he's just trying to follow him, trying to follow him, uh, scare him while he's going that low. He's going to try and balloon, but instead, and I mean, fighting back. Once he's ballooned, he, he's committed. Yeah, right. Exactly. At that time, Ant's biting back, like jumping back up with an air, calling him out on the Edgar situation. So. So here we go. Ant is trying to do the most he can at this point. All he can afford to do is throw out these slingshots and just tack on as much real percent as he can until he can maybe get a gimp. Canine just so good. Looking around for where you're going to be, throwing out that Lucina hitbox. And with the forward air, no, he does not look for his step. Goes low, hits the balloon, but still makes it back. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, tries, to get, tries the bowling ball right behind him, but he's not landed. And K9 oh, just back mixed back up. up his timing. Oh, oh he hit him with the too, though. good. But, oh, oh, no. no. Oh, that could have been a villager looked at <laughs> He was like, not my balloon. Oh, good tech. Gets the down air off the thing, but no, that's it. No, he doesn't go for the up throw. You know, it is Battlefield. I can respect Nazi. Yeah, I don't think throw. it was going to finish. Like, it's oh, for that. Not being one for, you know, kill throws, but even so. Should be going to be able to make it. I'm not sure if it was 179. That's a lot of percent. But it is. up throw? I mean, up throw on Battlefield? It, I'm not sure. It, it, it would have been close. It would have been close, yeah. It would have been close. Yeah. And I, I can respect not going for it just because, you know, it wasn't at that, like, 190. Yeah, that, yeah that's not worth it. And Lucina can do something much better if she's off the stage, right? right. If your opponent's off the stage. So right. Lucina is going to be able to do way more. But J9 looking at a grand finals reset most likely after this game. So all he's got to do is take him back to the battlefield. Triple platforms, you know, a lot of space to work with too. Doesn't die so easily. Forward air. There's the grab, you know, the grab. Oh, oh this gets a dare! No, no, he here, no dodge! Oh, he's making it back. Oh, he's making it back. He's making it back. I, I got so back. scared. I know. Here I was like, what was that? super down low. <laughs> and I figured, like, you know what? I know Villager has a lot of gas in his tank, but does he have enough gas to make it back? <laughs> exactly. Looking like Rob out here, most likely, but I mean, you know what? If that was Rob with the siren <laughs> gas prices, he definitely would have made it back. <laughs> we got California gas prices on Rob. Oh, yeah, $4 a gallon. Ooh. Oh, Woo. that stuff hurts. Now we got our villager out here on another situation, but maybe he's able to keep center stage. So gets, gets the, the down smash. Oh, into the up smash. You know what? He has taken complete momentum of this third game. You know, that, that down air was so critical. Exactly. Ant's trying to end it here. That way, maybe if this way he can get another... Ooh! If he can get another game, hopefully he can stay inside. The rate of just ending it with a three, but... This with a bowling ball, ball and jab. I'm seeing Ant playing a lot more aggressive on the left. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing Ant playing a lot more you aggressive You almost kind of have to because you're not beating Lucina in control. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Hits him with that back air. So he's trying to hit it, trying to land that, uh, down, like that, land that down air. Two frame works at the time. Ooh, Gets the grab forward there, I'm expecting. Nah. Down throw. Down throw, yeah. Definitely does not want to steal his kill throw. Ooh, but gets the Lloyd Rocket, throws him off stage. You know, all he needs is one grab at this point. Exactly. He's just gonna chill back. He's just gonna chill back with these pellets. I mean, he wants to chill back, but Lucina yeah. has the aerial momentum to just exactly. say no. He's got the sword to reach too. Yeah. Going all the way down there, hits him with the back here, drop down back here. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a clean one, 172 on Ant. How's Ant gonna find this stock? 
feel like that's oh. the, the, the number million dollar question in this matchup is, oh. you know, if yeah. Ant can nickel and dime his opponent, but all Lucina needs is just one hit. One, he needs one fair, one, one back air, and he's dead. You know? Exactly. Now he's trying to get him with these up tilt juggles. Throws the tree out, but luckily we're able to dodge it. Ends up up being onto the top platform. Oh, we're stuck between our tree and the village. <laughs> Hey, you know what? It would have been a lot more damage if he had been closer to the tree. But unfortunately, it was just ever so slightly misspaced the ways that couldn't happen. And that would have been huge. That would have been a good, like, 40% right there. But this is important last stock situation, too, for N as well. Uh, drops with the Nair into the roll. Gets grabbed for itself. Oh, but that's a double jump. This is not what you want to trade with. He's going for the movement. And really good. Really good at protecting himself. Though, even so. Granted, like you see how the Lucina works, but he's been really good for himself off the ledge for the most part. Oh, he's trying to find his one option off the ledge. It's the tree. Tries to cut it down. And again, he's trying to condition shield, trying to get trying to push him into it. Yep. Gets him with the, the axe. axe though too. Downer hitting him with most of the slingshot move. Gets him with that gyro. But he combo to it for that one. Here we go. No, off the ledge. Gets oh, an no. extension on the hitbox. Oh, but good wait. Yeah. Good wait from K9, but also Ed again, checking that one. Oh, but there's, there's the fair. Out the gyro. Yeah. And there's the fair, and it's going to be a grand finals reset for K9. The future is not written. You can just see Ant lost in, like, what to do. Because exactly. every, every option is just covered by Lucina's giant sword. I don't know. Every time he tries to get back on, getting fared. Every time he tries to uh, come back up with the balloon, he's getting back air to fared. It's the same thing. Uh, time. I mean, imagine if it was Krom, where his sword is, like, even stronger. Yeah, he probably would have just died. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a different story. But still opting to stay the villager, too. Oh, or is he? Or is he? I mean, he Are played a whole set with villager. Yeah. He played a whole set with Dillager. It does not look pretty. He got he got his stock at zero, basically, and exactly. he still couldn't pull out that game. Yeah, exactly. Dillager is not the answer. So we're going to see a switch into the banjo, and he opts for the black banjo. Looks super Whoa. sick with that skin, actually. Go. Now we're going to see some stuff. I feel like, at least with banjo, you're not dying at, like, Zero for basically going off stage, you know. Very true, very true. You have, you have some uh, pretty good recovery options and a pretty good move like Wonder Wing that just chases the entire way. Oh, does he get back to the right? Oh, does he? Wait, oh, not to get him. Oh, 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 gets back with the Wonder Wing. It's crazy, crazy. Good stuff. Good stuff, man. Ooh, he was I really love aware. that using the, the grenade to help his landing. He was super aware too with the uh, with that side beat because he, he like knew where he was gonna be sent. Oh, and to find ways to get himself to stay in the game. Fortunately, that air dodge to the ledge is just going to be covered by that side beat. Gets hit by another dancing blade. Ooh. Holding the grenade, but able to wonder wing back to the ledge. Wonder wing back to the ledge. K9 not respecting it, getting hit this time, but tries to go for the grab. So move too slow on it. Goes for grenade on the top ledge. Oh, no punish. That. No grab yeah. on that either. I feel like event, does Banjo like need to get a grab like off? Oh, good with the palm recovery and ends up SDing. K9, 0% to 84%. Both two stocks though. I feel like K9 just went a little bit too deep and then realized it just because of the way the camera was angled. Oh, he's got his left. Gets him with a grenade into forward air. All these grenade Ooh, plays. There's the another feather. Yeah. We got one more feather to use. Oh, oh, he, he went reading. for the read. He, he went for the jump read. He tried to read the galaxy yeah. over there. Gets up with the back though, and the down tilt. Ooh, good way oh, to cover no. stuff, but... Doesn't have enough beef. Yep. Does not have a move to get back onto the stage himself. Oh, oh gets that, that side beat. Yep. That was good, yeah, see, that yep. was good. See, he forced it with the grenade that time, and K9 biting. And getting hit with the Wonder Wing. No, no. Oh, that was bad. No, oh, he put still there, too. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, <laughs> Oh no! Oh, Lucina just so good at that. He, she can drop down so low and like, and just, just like, I haven't meant sadness. <laughs> Look into my heart. Look into my eyes. There's nothing <laughs> but the pits of despair <laughs> in my soul. Poor Banjo. Oh, <laughs> poor Banjo. Oh, poor Ant. <laughs> and Ant doesn't deserve that. 
he was doing so well too. He was. He was putting in work, able to play around off the stage and everything. But hopefully this time, maybe we'll see if he switches into something else. I don't know if he's playing with us. He's looking for something to do. Goes back to the villager. I'm gonna go back into the villager. He was. He did have like more of a game's chance here. Right. It's just very, very difficult. Two, so. One, go. And gonna have it too deep. He instantly finds the up air. He finds the tech chase, but a little, a little slow on the slingshot. So he's getting carried for it. Ooh, good be reverse to get away from that. That up to wow, that up to yeah. that leg is like covered in purple. I kind of hate how he fell out of that because of Lucina's hurt box just shifting the opposite way. Oh, really? Yeah. They fell out of it and it fell back into it. it <laughs> Gets him with the grab into the fourth throw. And here we are in another patented ledge trap situation. And I love the use of using his aerials to kind of just say, get off me, Lucina. I know what you're Ooh. trying to do, but Ooh, gets the, the fancy conversion. Stuff. Yeah. Let's go, Ant. So ends up with his lead again. We've seen him lose these, but even so, maybe there's someone with another chance at life. Never mind. It's up with the back air. And now we're both at back and even. And you know what? Even though he went so deep out there, K9 still has enough momentum to bring it back to this ledge. And I feel like that's where Lucina really shines. He's going for those deep edge guards. Exactly. And trying to keep, keep his lead right now. Oh, he was hoping for the low. Yeah, not gonna find it. There you go. That's pretty good. Just wait for the wait for the sword move, right? Wait for the sword move. Throw an aerial. I feel like if you're canine, you're just waiting for the void rock and be like, hey, free fair, thank you. Exactly. So it's kind of scary to do a lot of people with sword characters. They can get to punch you so fast. Though. She gets a fire emblem pass, but here we are throwing a lot of aerials just trying to wall him out. You know, speaking of fire emblem cast, how do you feel about Violet being released next week? I'm actually super hyped. I mean, I'm, I'm on the I'm on the fire emblem train to be honest because I'm like super fire emblem fan. I've been playing fire emblem. Like, uh, Yo, fi I have a feeling that Violet is either going to be like 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 there, there are three tiers of characters. There's top tier, high tier, and mid tier. Right. She's either going to be mid tier because like, she's just slow, or she's going to be like pretty high like high tier. Uh, depending on how well her down tilt, like I was seeing some like of her down tilt, data. down tilt, and then side beat. Those, yeah. are, those are the two critical moves. I was looking day. at some of the like like the analysis for her frame data and stuff like that, and like she she he she does seem to work. very smart. But I love three houses. I love the fire emblem game. Like that game, that game was great too as well. Uh, I wish if it was for anyone from three houses, I wished it was Edelgard. I did wish it was Edelgard. But I mean, we, we we did get a little bit of Edelgard. We did, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but know, I am glad. And for everybody that oh, Ooh, no, that's it. We're taking over the downer to the back air. So. Yep. And with that, oh no, we have one more game. We have one more game. Yep. Defeat me. But you know what? It's one of those things where you got a little bit of all three house leaders. That's true. Yeah, because know? they have the weapon every single time. The weapon, well, the weapon and the skins. They didn't. They didn't favorite to any of the houses, right? right. <laughs> they didn't favorite any of the houses. So Honestly, could you them. could you imagine like one of the ideas that was thrown around was what if you had a Pokemon trainer situation with Elgar Dimitri? Oh Claude. yeah, I saw that. That would have been insane. But what would he even do? Like, how would he? There's no Pokeball to go back into. So what do you do? He'd I mean, it, like, could be, it could be. Like a, <laughs> it could be like it could be a, a pair up system. You know? Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow. Yeah, you can do like a little switch kind of thing. That'd be yeah. tight. That'd be tight. Stop or, you know what would be really cool? If, if certain moves Good. were tied into like, you know how uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 has like the, the assists? Yes. If their if their moves were tied to like assist. Yeah, like so you'd things. have to do a move and then you'd switch into the assist. Assist, right. Yeah, that would be pretty One, cool. Go. Smart game development. I hope Nintendo listens. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't feel like they'll ever put in like an assist type thing in really Smash, don't. you know? Yeah, it's too, too much of a one to one game. Right? Right. It looks like Ant's opting to go to a different stage. It's, I mean, the closest thing we have to that is like Zelda's downbeat. Oh, yeah, that, they that took is... it out too. <laughs> they took it out and everything. They're like, nope, you're not switching to another character. You get a knight or a. No, 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 no. no. The, the knight, like summoning the knight and the knight oh, charges. That's like, what you mean. That's oh, what okay. I meant. Oh, by, like, like switching characters. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I'm talking about like you summon a character yes. and it like it, it does an action. Is there not another character who does so, uh, Not really? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. No, no other character really summons another thing and then uses that. I mean, you could argue like they, they summon items. You know, a lot of item play with like turnips, bombs. Um, Arsene? Arsene kind of. <laughs> <Get> summoned. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I, I feel like... <laughs> Oh god, Arsene, Arsene does get summoned. Yeah, you're, you're right. He's a you're whole right. other character. A whole other character. Dude, dude, dude he brings he he Joker be. up from like high tier to top tier exactly. for like 30 seconds. Real quick. Yeah. And it gets scary too. Very scary. And there's also Ice Climbers too, which is a whole other character. Offers, I so. mean, <laughs> Ice Climbers just two characters put into one. Exactly. And Olimar with like three picnic. Just throw around. But those are more like projectiles, if you ask me. Uh, items. And yeah, they're like little minions. Little minions. Little minions, yeah. And here, taking a swing at life with that axe, too. Oh, but that arrow dodge. Yeah, but he's going to get caught by that fourth guy. He got scared with that little dancing blade. That's what he said. He falls out he fell out of it. He just, fall, he just falls out of it and just ends up. Like, I don't know if that's a DI thing, maybe. I feel like that's a I'm, character hurt model. Type you think so? Thing. I'm not like yeah. a. Because not like if, you, if you looked at you've seen it, the way she like bends backwards and like. Oh, it's yeah, like she yeah, has yeah. no organs left, so like that's she, true. She, she like bends out and it goes out of the way of the punching this. Yeah. It could be one of those. Yeah, it could be one of those uh, 3D things as well, too. Like, I don't know if you saw that one video or meme where Game and Watch was like oh, fighting Lucina, she did the, the counter, counter, and, and then he does the down tilt, tilt, and it was like in between her legs. <laughs> That was so funny. Uh, you, you know, Yikes. there, there are some characters. Dude, have you seen the ones where like Pikachu like squishes down into the floor, and you see like you, people go for like grab, people go for yeah. Roy jab, whiffed a Pikachu. That, whips. That, oh my god, Definitely Pikachu god, gets god. so carried by that mechanic. Yeah. Low profile, one of the silliest mechanics in the game for sure. A lot of people would say it's a hard one, but it ends up getting counteracted with a light mechanic, which is the thing with a weight mechanic, I guess, technically. Technically, but like in Peach's case, for sure. Right? Yeah. Oh but. my God, I can't tell you how many times I try to like hit Peach with a move on landing in which she whips her fair, and she pancakes into the ground. And yes. Comes oh man, that's oh so my God, that's so frustrating. Yeah, it's something with England too. He pancakes too, and he does his forward air. We just fair. Fair. Not, uh, not as bad, but his dash attack is just. Oh, he's I'm, literally a pancake. Yeah. yeah just like he, pancake. His dash attack is literally. I'm going into the ground. <laughs> Deal with it. Pretty bad. You you Both have like a fifty. Sorry, you have the fifty fifty chance of hitting me while I'm dashing. Good luck. Yes. They should always be down and down. So, ooh, gets him with that fourth match of the neutral getup. The hardest read. Now, Ant, looking for life here, does not want to get 6 0'd. I mean, you, you can say he doesn't want it, but, like, is K9 going to let that happen? <laughs> yeah, is he going to let that happen? Oh, oh gets him with the up air so high. Ant taking a game. Some life for my boy with the. Uh, Oh, up air, up air, you did not eat your vegetables. Here's some more turnips. <laughs> K9 up 2 1 now. Yep. And K9, uh, K9 getting just unfortunate getting hit with three orangey based turnips in a row. Exactly. Now, this is going to be kind of hard with Ant having to play against a double counter pick. Ooh, K9 thinking. K9 thinking. Yeah, he's going to go straight back to this, you know? And he opts for the neutral color, too. Not going for the blonde hair this time. So maybe if I'm just regular, you see Zero problems. One, go. Rips off the mask. I love that. Still, I, I wish, I really do wish that they, when they had put this in into the game, that they had put a mark. Like, uh, not not mark, like, as a mark. Oh, like, no, no, like, the, the mask. mask. Mark. Yeah, the mask. Mark. Yeah, mask. Oh. Like, I just want him to have a skin where she actually just has her mask on instead of having to touch the skin. You know, you know it's, it's very so rare cool. where they do skins like that, where they have, like, only one or two skins. I feel like the only character that they do that for is Little Mac with his hoodie. True. Oh, I guess you're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. They could have done something like a Joker thing, though. You know, Joker has like multiple. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Joker, Joker's the other one that has like yeah. only two variants. But usually it's like two variants. I feel like you would need another like color. Exactly. I feel like that would be hard to do. Ooh, he gets, he gets the tech, though. Able to get back onto the stage, but you can already see Canine being very brutal for this one. Not gonna have to come back. At least here on Pokemon too. That's handsome though too. He was ready for the single hit there too for that word smash. You know, you saw Villager getting hit by these forward smashes and I figured like, oh, Ants finally learned not to, you know, land right in front of K9. Nope. <laughs> K9 is just like, ha 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 ha, you thought you were safe, but no. Hard to escape, right? Hard to escape with that, that big of a hitbox too. They've been doing it from the beginning of time. Martin, you know, just I mean, Ford Smash Ledge. That, that's been a thing since that's Melee. That's been a thing since Melee, right? Yeah. Getting a I love how, like, Mark Ford Smash, like, is just one of the solid, like, fundamentals. Like, if you think about, like, Smash History, like, it's just a solid, like, good thing. 
Yeah, it's such a good move too, and a lot of people learn from it, you know what I mean? It's something that we learned from as a kid. It's like, oh, this guy is always going to keep doing his forward smash to the ledge. What am I going to do? And that's how we like practiced adapting as kids, you know? Oh, we see his shield is low, and with the axe on deck, you can kind of worry about it breaking, but you know what? If you're off stage, it's, the tree's going to slowly disappear, and A9 is just slowly whittling Ant down, and Ant tries Ooh. to make it back, but K9 just says no. Yes. Get down, you're out of here, exactly. leave. Hits him onto the stage twice and knows that when the tech's gonna come out, I'm gonna throw out a back there. But there's still some uh, frames where you can't really move after the attack, at least uh, from what I know. At least you can't change the momentum, that's what Oh, that's it. Ooh. K9 knew it, he took the jump. Yeah. Tries to come back on pretty aggressively. Gets the sprinkler from over there, wow. He was really far. I'm gonna water my tree from the side of the stage. And, yep, this is it. Yeah. Oh, no. Only it's enough air. It could be worse. It could have been worse. worse, yes. And still having a chance at life. 26%. He's going to have to do a lot, but. And it beat out the Void Rocket. I'm, oh. I'm a little bit frustrated at that. But here's the bear. Oh, uh, get hit oh. the balloon twice. Oh, makes it back. You know Village what? Cool. That, that's, that's the one thing that I feel like. Villagers don't deserve. No! Oh, is... Takes that one. Oh, takes that one too. Let's go, Ant. Oh, Hold out a dear life. And Ant, Ant's trying so hard. Oh He's my gosh. He's trying so hard Ant, just to let's live. Go. No, no, not the dance. No, 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 just <laughs> ends up shield. getting it. Yep. K9. And K9. K9's face, like, wait, that was it? That was 3 1. Yeah. Three one. <laughs> K 9 is just like, really? Like, I, 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 I could do this. Uh, like, I thought first it was. Ten? <laughs> first of 10? I, I, I thought I was playing Lucina all night. Yeah. I thought this was serious. Thank you, boy. That was, that was free. Thank <laughs> you. Ooh. He said, wow, okay. okay. I, I, I thought I was still playing Lucina. I still had some in me. So. <laughs> yeah, like. Let's see, he's still sitting there. And, <laughs> and, 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 and needs to get his prize money. He did get second. He did.